G'day guys and girls, your photography sucks. That is right, on today's vlog, I wanna give you two simple tips on how to improve your photography for anyone, beginner, amateur, or professional, and it doesn't involve buying any gear, traveling to any location, you can implement it tomorrow to improve your photography. That's right, it is that bloody simple. So stick around and roll that intro. G'day guys and girls, today we head to a very simple but beautiful location and I wanna give you two free tips on how to improve your photography. What I'm doing right now to get out of my photography rut in this horrible COVID season and improve my photography. No gear, no extremely beautiful location, just simple photography and improving our landscape photography. That's what it's all about today. Improving our landscape photography by putting or implementing two very simple tips into our photography. So let's get going down this beautiful valley and I'll see you there. Right, after a lot of searching around, looking for that minimalist style of photography, I've settled on this location. Today is gonna to get me out of that photography rut. I've got a photograph just in front of it. I wanna really work the composition to see how it pans out. And then I wanna try and get down there and find some really intimate details of the landscape. But right now I'm gonna get set up and focus on this one main image right now that I wanna capture. Alrighty, first composition is all set up in camera. I've got the XR 55 to 200 on the front. And after a little bit of mucking around, we've finally got it down packed. That's what I want to explain to you right now, the composition. But firstly, it's taken a little while it's because my brain up here is just not switched on to photography. It's not motivated. It can't see the cluster through all the beautiful around me. So it's taken me a long time. Yesterday I drove over an hour, didn't even get out the car because my brain just didn't even want to take the photo. So I forced myself to come to this beautiful bend in the river here to get two or three images, just to minimize my photography and just find key aspects in the composition. So what we're looking at right now is this tree coming out with beautiful icicles in the background. Now it's very low in color, but the color that is around, I want to try and emphasize in the composition. So we've got the green of the tree, the icicles aren't that blue color. They're almost like a muddy yellow color, which is quite interesting. And then the background, we've got those deep, rich tones in the rock and also the sort of mustardy rock color underneath. That's gonna sort of give that transparency in the image. Now, I'm shooting just over 70 mil, probably about 80 mil, 75 millimeters. And the reason I'm doing that is to try and, the, the, the hardest thing in this composition is getting depth because obviously I'm using that telephoto onto a flat rock. So how I've tried to compensate that is putting the top part of the snow in to give sort of some scale, some depth into the image. And then in the bottom part of the image, there's this little rut that's cut out. It's giving the faintest bit of shadow. That's gonna give a little bit of depth into the image to separate you know, the tree and the icicles, I hope. I bloody well hope. There is a little bit of post-production I have to do with that tree. There's just one tree at the top there that I wanna just sort of quickly get out just to give that top bit a very flat feel. So I'm gonna go through now, I'm shooting at 160 ISO. I'm putting my aperture to 5.6 because I don't need a big aperture of that F8, F11. So 
I'm putting that back to 5.6 and that is giving me a readout of 1 over 60 for my shutter speed, so plenty of light. Now we're going to go through for a two second timer on. I'm focusing basically on the rock because it's going to be all in focus. And just catch that image. I know in post production I'm going to have to crop it just in a little bit further from a 3 by 2 but here is hopefully a beautiful image, very minimalistic to get me out of this bloody rut. Okay, there is no denying that I'm at an all-time low point in my photography, but hopefully we have a saving grace. There is a little bit of snow falling that might make my compositions work a little bit better, but when I say I'm at an all-time low, I've been at this location now for about an hour and a half, and I'm pulling at strings here to try and get a photo. I've got the XF55 to 200 on again. I'm shooting almost at 200 mil. So what I'm trying to do is find a rock because the sediment that runs down this valley that I'm in, or most valleys in Slovenia, leaves this very yellow sediment that runs on the rock. You can see it on the front but not on the back, so it just leaves this layer. And what I'm trying to do is photograph one that's fully covered and it's got ice frozen to it, and really trying to minimalize the image, focusing all the way at 200 mil, and trying to get just that little bit of motion blur. That's why I'm trying, 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 but that's why I'm out here to put the time and effort in to get my photography back. So shooting at almost 200 mil, I've had to bump it up to F11 because if I shot at 5.6, which I shot my old image at, I'm getting one over 80, where it's gonna sort of not freeze the water in time, but not give it that motion that I'm after. So giving it to F11 at 160 ISO again, because in 1 over 20, I like to shoot sort of that 1 over 10 for that little, little motion blur in that water, especially at 200 mil. So with a two second timer, I can go ahead and get that image. But what I've spent the most amount of time on is getting rid of that cluster which I spoke about, which is actually why I love doing this sort of stuff, putting the time and effort in. Yes, it's frustrating as anything, but I was shooting just a little bit over before. And when you look at that image on the screen right now, it's sort of the ice goes into the water and you can't get that separation by just moving over a little bit, not changing anything in camera, just moving the camera allows me to segregate that because there's a rock just behind it. So I think I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not happy, happy, but I'm happy with the time and I'm putting into it. So I'm going to put a two second timer on now. I've got the rock just to the right hand side focusing dead on the ice as well and just catch that image. It's not going to win an award, but it is going to win a place in my heart for the time and energy put into this. So I think with this snow falling, I want to go and try and find another competition because I'm outside. So here is this image right now. Don't have me in the comments. <laughs> Radio, a simple location, but I'm pretty sure I got exactly what I wanted from this location. Yesterday, as I said, I went for a drive for about an hour and a half, sat in the car for about half an hour, contemplated my life and was so disappointed in myself. I went home, sat on the couch and watched some 
watched some news here on TV and I just really thought to myself, Matt, what is going on? What are you doing? I've been in a massive rut lately. I think COVID has emphasized that massively, the ability to go out and enjoy the small things in life is really starting to affect me lately, I can definitely tell. But I just said to myself, Matt, what are you doing, buddy? Why aren't you enjoying your photography anymore? And I think I nailed it down to two things, effort and time. Get away from this contemplation about the, the skies are too blue, we've had fresh snow and there's no clouds in the sky or sunset doesn't look as good as I want. Who cares, man? Get out and do the things you love doing. I haven't put the time, effort or energy in in the last month in my photography and it's got me into a massive hole. And when I dig, I'm digging sideways. It's not helping, so I want to try and get that ladder and get out. And that's why I want to hear from you guys. What do you think the elements are to improving your photography? Stuff the camera gear, stuff the location. You can come to any location and get some images. Yes, I understand other locations are going to get you splendid images like ice on the Fair Islands. That's why I wanted to come to this location today. It's beautiful here, the river, the fresh snow, the icicles there. I thought to myself, if you can't come there and enjoy the small things in life, you need to take a break and get away from it or have a really hard look at yourself. And that's why I wanted to get back into the time and effort. That's what I'm gonna dedicate next week to just getting out to locations, not vlogging some, vlogging some, and just putting the time and effort. They're my two things that I think you need as a photographer to improve your skills. The time and the dedication put into a photography, stuff the camera gear, stuff the conditions, just put the time in and you will learn from your mistakes and from your right doings. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But I just need to really appreciate the small things in life, the rivers, the smells, the snow, the trees. Sounds so stupid, but COVID's really changed our life forever. It's bloody crazy. But guys, that is me done for today. I'll be definitely seeing you guys next week because we've got a location just around the corner that I haven't even taken to you guys yet. And that is how bloody beautifully epic that is. So hopefully we can get back out and enjoy this beautiful nature and photograph this beautiful world. I'll see you guys then. Get out, keep exploring, keep inspiring. Ciao.